guys, good evening. Uh, definitely ragged looking storm throughout the day today. Land interaction as expected over the whole weekend here has taken its toll. Uh, her, her, hurricane hunters at times have had trouble kind of pinpointing that low level center because it is so ragged. So this may be one of the situations where we almost get a new low level center to fire up under one and eth underneath one of these new bursts of convection. So we'll be monitoring that. It's going to traverse Cuba overnight tonight into early Monday. And again, it's at this point when it moves off the northern coast to Cuba. We'll see what kind of shape it's in because that's going to go a long way in determining, say, the uh, severity of the impacts that we'll have here around Tampa Bay. We're getting to a point where it, it's pretty uh, unlikely that we will escape with no impacts at all. We're going to get at least something out of this in terms of wind and rain, but the exact track will have a lot to do uh, with coastal flooding and, and storm surge. You think about the center of a storm off our west coast. Uh, Tropical Storm Ada last November was very similar to this kind of a track, and we had immense flooding around the low-lying areas of Pinellas County. We had Bayshore flooding. Uh, some of Manatee and Sarasota County had flooding. But let's say we get something going inland or a little bit further east, all of a sudden that issue is, is not there. So at this point, I would prepare for at least a period of tropical storm conditions Tuesday evening into Tuesday night. So you have all day tomorrow uh, and really early Tuesday as well to, to secure the trash can, secure the pool equipment, pool chairs, toys, things like that. That's about all the prep we need to take at, at this point, but could see some isolated tornadoes. If we get some nasty rain bands and flooding could be an issue as well. Remember, we've had a lot of rain in the last seven days, some spots close to a foot of rain, we could see several inches of rain out of this. We'll fine tune the details on this forecast over the next 24 hours, and I'll have more uh, coming up in just a few minutes. Back to you.